And joining us now, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Marty McCary. It's great to see you, sir. What's your reaction to this report, doctor? Well, let's let's be honest. This is not a moment of self-reflection at the CDC where they've decided to issue an apology. They're getting ready for a scathing GAO report that gets released next Wednesday, and they're trying to get ahead of it. If they were serious, they would allow Yokovich to play in the U.S. Open. They would rehire 60,000 military personnel that were fired just weeks ago. They would stop pushing boosters for every 10-year-old in America and tell schools and colleges that have booster requirements to stop doing it. And they would stop pushing the baby so, and toddler vaccine w when there's no significant so, evidence to support them. So you're putting news out there. The GAO is about to issue a scathing report on the CDC and they're handling the pandemic. I mean, the U.S. taxpayers spent hundreds of billions of dollars in taxes on government agencies, including the CDC and NIH. But our response to the pandemic was to be caught flat-footed with no containment strategy, lack of protected gear for hospital workers and equipment, and poor vaccine distribution models and so on. You've seen what goes on behind the scenes. Just what do these people do? What is the GAO going to find out? There are 21,000 employees at the CDC, and when the pandemic hit the United States, they couldn't even track cases. It was one Johns Hopkins engineering grad student that put together a website that allowed us and the world to track this virus. That's a disgrace, and that's not something where you can tell the CDC, look, go fix yourself now and let them read a, a statement some publicist wrote for the director to read saying, oh, we're sorry about the response. How about some action? They don't have a messaging problem. They have a bad decision problem. They've had a series of bad decisions by the director. And we have a lack of leadership problems in this country. So again, the GAO is it's basically the CDC is coming out ahead of what the GAO is going to slam there for next week on bad pandemic policies. Let's watch Senator Rand Paul on all of this. Watch. I think they need to step back and get back into the advice game, not the mandate game. Well, I think it's ironic that we won't let the world's greatest tennis player in because he's not vaccinated, Djokovic, and yet we'll let thousands and thousands of migrants come in unvaccinated. Uh, talk about hypocrisy. Maybe you should talk to the CDC about that. You know, it's really appalling what's going on in our nation. They, is, we're supposed to follow these leaders who shut down the U.S. economy, threw 22 million people out of work, right? And then they allowed, basically, defund the police. They allowed crime to skyrocket, victimizing Americans. And now we've got the Biden White House. They're going to start next week. They're going to say no COVID-19 vaccination proof text, tests inside the government starting next week. So that's what's happening coming up. What took them so long? Well, they've been painting themselves into a corner looking for an escape. And if you look at when they st said suddenly, you don't have to quarantine, you don't have to isolate, we don't have to mass test, that recommendation was not based on cases going down. They're actually higher than they were in the spring. It was looking, they were looking for an escape. And it's no coincidence, in my opinion, that it came out within 24 hours of the raid at Mar-a-Lago. So they basically undid a lot of their stuff. They didn't change a lot of the big policies they need to. And let's be honest, this so-called overhaul that they're talking about, they're bringing in Mary Wakefield to reform the agency. She's a Clinton appointee who's been in government forever. Got it. Dr. McCary, thanks for joining us.